Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today we're going to be doing part 4 of my anime DVD collection for uh, 2020 update video, I guess. So we're going to be starting where we left off, starting from here all the way down to where Gundam is, which is volume 10 of Mobile Suit Gundam. So yeah, without any further ado, which is right here, right now, we're going to be updating this for today. So let's begin here. So with that, let's start off from the top here. The first I have is Hyperpolis. This is my first volume I got on DVD. This is released by Image Entertainment. There's only four episodes on there, which are episodes 13 to 16 on it. This was like $1.95 that I got at a book set at Respute Music. It's like cheap because it's like $2. Like, oh, $2 for like... Four episodes on this anime DVD. That's not bad because it's kind of cheap. That's why. Well, it, it's it. That's how it is. What it is. And I have Iki Tausen Volume One. This is my first Iki Tausen DVD. This is like a dollar ninety-five that I got, or better yet. I mean, actually, let me rephrase it. I got this at Respin Music a while back because when I was getting a lot of DVDs of anime back in two thousand eighteen, which is not two years ago, which or maybe a couple years back. And of course, I have. And Iki Tao's in Volume 4, because I have the Volume 1 and my DVDs I got recently. There is also the... There's also other volumes I might get, like Volume 2 and Volume 3. So that'll be complete. So hopefully I'll complete this, because these were released by Jenny on Pi Entertainment. Yeah, Volume 8... Uh, volume 4 of Iki Tao's was released by Jenny on Entertainment, but... Volume 1 of Iki Tausen was released by Genion Pioneer Entertainment on there. Yeah, because that's how they rebranded it as Genion Entertainment before Genion Pi Entertainment went out of business. That's why. Well, it's just how it is what it is. If I get some more, because that'll get you going. All Crazy Kozu Basketball Club. This is basically your typical basketball anime OVA. There's only like two episodes on there. I got this for like $1.95 at Respute Music a while back. There's only like two episodes on there. I was like, oh, that's like dollar. It's like $2. Oh, $2 for two episodes on there. That's that's great. Well, it's how it is what it is. Next, we're getting into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these bootleg DVDs of Inuyasha. I have Inuyasha DVD. I have the first one here. I got this at Game Shop downstairs a while back. This comes in a see-through cover. It's only dubbed in its original Japanese with English and Chinese subtitles only. Yeah, because this was like five bucks uh, when I first got this at Game Shop down at a game used game store where they have DVDs, more DVDs and VHS tapes and game, other game consoles and stuff, which is called Game Shop downstairs, I believe. And I have another Inuyasha D bootleg DVD. Yeah, it's volume one, two. Yeah, this basically has half of the episodes from season one. This leads you to season two of Inuyasha. Yeah, it's a bootleg, apparently. I got all seven of these for, like, five bucks each because th technically they're a that totals up to $25. Huh, $25 for all seven Inuyasha DVDs that are, like, seven, that are like five bucks each. I got another one, I guess. There's some screenshots on the back of this bootleg DVD of Inuyasha. That's why. But you get it's. I have another one, I guess, because the Inuyasha was based on the manga by Rumiko Takahashi, who was known for her work such as Urusei Yatsura, Ranma Half, Meizan Koku, stuff like that. Any part of the Rumiko Takahashi world, that's why. This was like five bucks each when I first got this, and I have another one. Most of these episodes are like seasons one through four to five, I guess, on the bootleg DVD ones, because that gives me time to watch some more episodes. That I, I had watched all these. This is basically like I finished all of it on you on this DVD bootleg one, as well as I watched the rest of his episodes on YouTube online. I guess yeah. Crunchyroll has got all the episodes of Inuyasha. Um, you might watch it for free on Crunchyroll or Netflix. It depends on the stream. But I own physical copy. That's why. Yeah, this is a bootleg because this is kind of legitimate, but because it's it says Inuyasha in its original Japanese logo way. Yeah, this is. The seventh one I got, because I got all seven of, the, seven of these Inuyasha bootleg DVDs. These are like five bucks each, which just totals up to like $25 for all seven of these, which that'll get you going. 
And I have Volume 4 of Inuyasha on DVD that is released by Viz Video. This is the Viz release ones. Yeah, there's only three episodes. I kind of got this at Half Price Books a while back as well. And I have Inuyasha Volume 5, Secret of the New Moon. There's only three episodes on this. This is my first Inuyasha DVD, that's why. It's basically like Season 1, I guess. And I have another Inuyasha DVD, The Band of Seven. This is Volume 35. I might get the rest of the vol individual Volume 1s, as well as the season set of those box set ones that Viz Media put out. All the season sets of Inuyasha and the movie ones did got a Blu-ray release, apparently, just like they released Inuyasha The Final Act on Blu-ray. And I have Inuyasha Season 1 from Viz release. I kind of got this for like, at, a go at a thrift store for like 11 bucks. that's why. 11 bucks for an anime DVD, not bad. Thrift, stop sh thrift store finds, huh? I have Inuyasha Season 4 DVD set. I got this at Speed and no, Streetlight Records a while back. And of course I have Inuyasha Movie Infections Touching Across Time. Because I had get to own one of the Inuyasha movies. I did a review on all four of these a while back on my previous anime review. And I have the Viz video release of Inuyasha Affections Touch, uh, Castle Beyond the Looking Glass. This is the second Inuyasha movie. This is the one I got as the Viz release uh, back a while back in 2019, and I have the bootleg DVD one that has the English and Chinese subtitles on there, but this includes the OVA soundtrack, but it only plays in audio instead of showing images on the OVA, but it plays like an audio and all, which is kind of amusing, kind of interesting, huh? And I got Inuyasha Fire on the Mystic Island, I got this for like a dollar at a book sale at a local library back in 2015, I guess, which is back in November. And I have in Jungle Emperor Leo on DVD. This apparently got a Blu-ray release from Discotech Media. Yeah, it's from Osamu Tezuka, who's known for Astro Boy, Uni Unico and the Island of Magic, and The Fantastic Adventures of Unico, Princess Knight, and stuff like that. Yeah, this is my first Osamu Tezuka anime DVD. I might get Astro Boy DVDs one of these days at one point. As well as I can get the Blu-ray release of Jungle Emperor Leo from Discotech Media, but the DVD I have is from Anime Works. I have Kazuno Yojimbo. This is volume. Um, this only has. An, this is my first. This one of these has like. Yeah, I can tell if it's a volume. Yeah, it says New Bell. Yeah, Volume 4. This is Volume 4 of Kazuno Yojimbo. This has four episodes on there. This comes with a collectible mini cell on it. it just sounds great. That's why. And I have Kite. I did an anime review on this a while back, because I did mention versions. The version I have is the censored version from Anime Works, which is Media Blaster sub-label for anime. There is also the uncut version, which is the hentai version. But, the, but there's another... There's, there's a predecessor, which is Kite Liberator, which I do not have, which I'll get at one point. And I have Volume 3 of Night Hunters. I got this oh, last year as well. And Volumes... Five of Midnight Hunters. No, no, Night Hunters, actually. Sorry, I said Midnight. It says Night Hunters, that's why. Just kind of got me into it. I kind of got these a while back. And I have Volume 1 of Kurao Phantom Memory. This is my first Kurao Phantom Memory DVD. And Volume 3 of Kurao Phantom Memory. I need to get Volume 2. And I have Volume 5, Volume 6, and Volume 5 of Kyukaro Mel. One of these come with Cell collectible cell ones or something yeah I kind of got these at a Respian Music a while back because they were easier to get because I'm a that makes me an anime collector I have Le Chevalier Dion if you like either Re Revolutionary Girl Utina or Utina or The Rose of Versailles you might this will be part of your anime recommendation that's why I will get the rest of Le Chevalier Dion because I have some good anime recommendations, that's why. Unless you want to get the save, complete series under the save edition from Funimation. Legend of Himiko, Start of Seven Blades. This is from the creator who did Sakura Wars, you know, or Sakura Tyson. I kind of got this for like a dollar at a book sale at a library a while back in 2015. And I have Love Hina. This is my first Love Hina DVD as well. I kind of got this at Respute Music a while back because this was cheap as well. I might get the rest of them at one point. I have Lupin the Third, Mission Irresistible. I got this for like a dollar at a book sale at a library a while back as well. And I have Lupin the Target. This is my first Lupin the Third DVD that I ordered on Amazon because I love me some Lupin the Third. Because there are some other Lupin DVDs that are put out by Discotech Media now. 
Because the couple of these I have are the, from Pioneer Genion releases, and I have Lupin the Third, Secret of Mama, which is the first theatrical Lupin the Third anime movie, and I have a couple editions of Lupin the Third, Castle Cagliostro, from legendary director Hayao Miyazaki. This has... I have the 2006 manga video release and the 2015 release from Discotech Media, which is the definitive edition, I guess. And I have Lupin the Third, Farewell to Nostradamus, another later Lupin movie, and I have... Lupin the Third, Voyage to Danger, which is one of the later Lupin movies, I guess. And I have Volume 2 of Lunar Legend Tsukihime. I might get some more of these at one point, at one of these days. And I have two volumes of Mac Macross Plus. These are the OV four o episode OVA versions, but this is from director Shoji Kawamori. There is also the movie version, but I do not have the movie version. One of these days I will get the movie version. I did an anime review on it a while back. And I have Madlax Volume 2... I got I got this because this was cheap at a recycled bookstore a while back. I have Marmalade Boy. This is volume one. This is from the Ultimate Scrapbook box set one from Tokyo Pop. And I have Mar Marchin Awakens Romance Volume Four. This is my I got this because this was cheap because I might get some more one of these days. And I have MD Geist. This has Death Force. This includes the director's cut version in this snapper case from US Manga Corp with Image Entertainment on it. And I have Memories. I got this at Respeed Music a while back because it was $8. And I have Mermaid Forest, another anime from Rumiko Takahashi. Because this is my favorite. It's behind Ranma, Inuyasha, Meizan, Ikoku, Yurusei Yatsura, stuff like that. And I have Moonlight Mile, Volume 2. I got this because this, there's some other volumes I'll get one of these days at one point as well. And I have Mobile Suit Gundam, Volume 5 as well. This is the original Gundam series that started the Gundam franchise. I have Volume 6 of Mobile Suit Gundam 0079 as well. And the last one I got is Mobile Suit Gundam 0079 Volume 10. This does not include the Japanese version. But the Blu-ray release that put out by, it has, does. This is all I have for today, I guess. So that's going to be it for Part 4 of my anime DVD collection 2020 update for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts about it. Because I know it's like 1.50 in the morning, but I might as well finish this video quick before I go to bed. Because I got other thi I can do part 6 after when I get up in the morning as well, because I might be tired, that's why. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime panel link in the description down below. Share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and all of fa social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video if you like this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section below if you like as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuronyK95. Feel free to join my channel. If you're new to my channel, click on my notifications bell button. Check out my videos that I'm uploading as well. And keep it otaku for part five of my, part four of my anime DVD collection 2020 update video. Sorry, I thought I said part five. It's part four. Stay tuned for part five because I'll be going to bed right now. This is RuronyK95 saying thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you soon for part five. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni King 95 signing off, and thank you for watching part four of my anime DVD collection 2020 update. Stay tuned for part five for more videos.